say to the Lord, please convert my parish. Convert my parish. He knew perfectly he couldn't do anything by himself. But that's why I said, if we are wise to listen to God, we are sure to succeed. But not surely on the earth. You know? And John May Vianney, he knew he was ignorant. And uh, when I say he's ignorant, I'm using a, sen a good sense of humor. Because one day, a priest told the bishop about John May Vianney, he's not very intelligent, he's not very clever. And the bishop replied to that priest, I don't know if he's clever, but I do know he's very enlightened. Yeah. Okay. And why? Because with humility, you can do all you want. You count not on yourself, but on God. And uh, Germain Vianney, I think, is also a great model. Not because he has made extraordinary things, but he has always made ordinary things in an extraordinary way. First thing, humility. And I will say the second thing is he was very merciful. Lee Marshall, Hallam Diocese. Um, I think before I came here, I had uh, certainly the wrong impression of St. John Vianney. I thought he was um, quite a, very much a strong figure, but almost, I suppose almost militant in his, in his faith. But uh, the, the, the person that I've discovered since I've been here is, is totally different. Um, I found somebody who is uh, pastorally extremely sensitive, um, but also never deviates from the truth. And I think that's something that, that uh, I can learn and um, hopefully apply, God willing, to my own priesthood. I'm Kieran Fletcher. Um, I'm from the Diocese of Hallam. My reflection on our time in ours is mirrors a pilgrimage, I suppose. I arrived with big expectations. Um, St. John Vianney is one of my favourite saints. My first reaction on arriving in the village was how small and insignificant it seemed. Um, I couldn't believe how small the village actually is. But what's been revealed to me, much like St. Therese, another French saint, is the importance of the little things. And it's maybe the small and insignificant things which are important. During our time here, what I've learned about Jean Vianney that above all things is love. The love that he had for the people. The love that he tried to teach in his teachings of the Catechism. But above all, the love that he had for God. And the love that he knew God had for him. I think that's something that we should all remember. Which is difficult, and I suppose is why Jean Vianney is a saint, and that's what we're all trying to attain to. And today, you know, we can travel all around the world. Every time there is a little new in England or in the States or in China, immediately everyone knows about it. So we have a lot of communication. But in fact, today we are extremely lonely because we communicate, but we do not listen. When I was young, I remember... After school, we used to go, it was on Saturday. Every Saturday, there was the possibility of receiving the Sacrament of Reconciliation because there were no Mass on Saturday evening, like today, but only on Sundays. And we could receive the Sacrament of Reconciliation. And I remember, at that time, I talk about 50 years ago, it was not always possible to receive Communion because we had to wait at least three hours before communion. And as we were young, it was a bit difficult. But today, just realize, we are great saints, very great saints, holy people. Because now, very often, we receive communion on Sundays, 
But of course, I'm sorry, I am exaggerating, but we do not need reconciliation. And that is why things are not going well. You know, we are pretending everything is fine, but if we want to be happy, I mean as Catholic, if we really practice our religion, we need these both sacraments. First, reconciliation, as John Maivianet did, because he wanted to have peace, I would say, in an horizontal way, with all our brothers, and if I receive the sacrament of reconciliation, then I am ready to receive the sacrament of Eucharisty, I would say, in a vertical way. And John Maivianet, just never forget that, he wanted, already when he was young, to save souls to God. And he was so excited, trying to bring souls to God, he said, if I could, I would confess myself for them. And reconciliation is probably the biggest thing that I'll take away from this place. The most important gift that God has given to the Church, besides himself in the Eucharist, is the power to reconcile all people to God, to open them to receive the graces that flow from him, and to know that he loves them. These, these few days in ours have been a peaceful rest in the presence of such a great saint. And I've learned a lot from, from St. Jean Vianney about what it means to be a priest. love of the Holy Parish Priest of ours, I love you, O oh my God, and my only desire is to love you until my last breath. I love you, O oh infinitely lovable God, and I prefer to die loving you than to live a single moment without loving you. I love you, O oh my God, and I long for heaven only in order to know of loving you perfectly. I love you, oh my God, and I only fear going to hell because there I will never experience the sweet consolation of loving you. Oh my God, if my tongue is not able to say at every opportunity that I love you, I want at least my heart to repeat it to you as many times as I take a breath. My God, give me the grace of suffering out of love for you, of loving you while I suffer. Give me the grace of one day breathing my last out of love for you, and at the same time, feeling how much I love you. The closer I come to my final end, the more I beseech you to intensify and perfect my love for you. 